hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel technical sahil in today's video we are going to see that how we can connect proxy to our web browser for this uh, you need to make sure that you have a proxy which i already have there is a slight difference between proxy and vpn which i will cover at the end of this video but for now let's see how we connect my browser is chrome so first uh, we need to search chrome web store on our browser and from here we need to search switchy omega and press enter now we need to enable this proxy proxies uh, sorry this extension proxy switchy omega click add to chrome add extension The extension has been added now you can see this wizard by clicking next to go through with this extension but i already know the few things about it so let's skip this guide and first we need to create a new profile so click here we can define any name like uh, the proxy i currently have is usa proxy by default this option is enabled so it's good for the basic use but if you have a rotating proxy so you can uh, turn on this uh, switch profile this will apply different proxies automatically on various conditions such like you set any pattern like you want at this work you want this proxy and this you want this proxy so it will take credentials for both the proxies or multiple proxies and do according to your instructions but for now uh, let's go with this uh, as we have only one proxy so let's create now here if you uh, click show advance it will show you all the protocols but which the default protocol i am selecting is http now from here we need to uh, get our proxy credentials it's private proxy so it also needs authentication That's the IP first we need to copy and paste. And here we need to paste the port number. Now we need to click this uh, authentication. If it's public proxy, uh, you can simply apply changes and it will work. But it's but if it's private proxy, then you need to click this and provide your proxy credentials which you get from your proxy provider the username is this and the password is this one and click save changes now click apply changes here you can bypass the list means uh, currently it's local host set so means the proxy won't apply on localhost similarly if we enter any url or any ip address so the proxy will bypass that url or the ip you have provided means any specific website you don't want to use proxy on that so you can mention the, the ip or the domain at here otherwise click save changes now you can close this Now simply you first need to pin this and click and click this USA. The proxy has been connected. Now if we uh, check the IP, what is my IP address? So you can see that's the IP which is provided by this proxy provider. Now on this tab, it's showing the IP which is provided by this proxy provider. But if I search here, what is my IP address? You can see at here, it's showing me my router's IP, means my internet's IP from where I am currently located, you can see. So it's showing my Indian IP, but here on this tab, it's showing my, sorry, it's a UK proxy. Uh, I 
I write the name wrong but it does not matter the name was just for my it's my preference so the proxy is uh, UK proxy so this way that's the difference between the VPN and the proxy if we connect VPN it will change the network the tunnel of the whole device means either you open any another tab any another browser incognito mode any script it will change it will turn change the IP of your complete system but in proxy in case of proxy in this specific tab the proxy has been applied means you can see it's a VPN of a specific tab or a browser on this browser on this tab Google Chrome it has applied but but on this previous tab it's not uh, applied proxy on it so this is useful in case if you want to use multiple proxies like you have to manage multiple accounts payment gateways or you want to do any CPA marketing with the multiple proxies so this is useful in this case means you can set up profiles you can set up tabs and you can apply different different proxies on it so and it's always preferable to uh, go with the private proxy because public proxy are almost uh, blacklisted if I show you the IP score of this uh, proxy you can see it's completely whitelisted so private proxy is preferable because it's a uh, private IP it's secure it's only dedicatedly used by you so these are the benefits of using these kind of private proxies that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end